giving honor and praise God to Pastor uh, Loggins, Dad Loggins, and to Bishop Nevels and all my Ecclesiastes brothers and sisters. And all God's people, I say praise the Lord. For well, the Bible says to honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king, and behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And the Hebrew writer says, let brotherly love continue. I thank God for this family, praise God. Uh, Deacon Eddie Walton, praise God. The Bible says, look out among you and find seven men full of the Holy Ghost, praise God. And Acts 1 through uh, 6, 1 through 7. I worked at Tamarkin with uh, Deacon, and they were an inspiration to me when I was getting called into the ministry, praise God, along with uh, 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 Bishop um, Robinson and also uh, Deacon's brother and artist. And so, praise God, I learned so much from them uh, in that tenure out at Tamarkin Company. And my good friend also, Elder Josephus Phillips, praise the Lord. I eat his uh, wife's greens every day. And uh, the uh, cobbler, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I eat the lunch all the time. All right. Hallelujah. But I just want to say to you today, he was a great man, family, and I, the lines have fallen into you in goodly places. If I would say anything, I would say Proverbs 13, 12. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But in a multitude of a dream or desire, it brings forth the tree of life. Wise men walk with wise men. Fools walk with fools. Praise God. But the Bible says, praise God, a good man leaves inheritance for his children's children. Right. And the wealth of the sinner yes. is laid up for the just. And in my closing, I just want to say, I believe that God looked down and saw the good and deacon, praise God. He's not dead. He's asleep. Because the Bible said, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Come away with me. Come away with me, my beloved, my fair one. Come away with me. Winter has passed. The rain has ceased. The birds are singing. Praise God. And even the turtle doves. Come away with me, my beloved, my fair one. Come away. God bless you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To the entire Walton family, Bishop Nevels, and to Pastor Loggins, and all the clergy, we certainly grateful to be here today to just have a word to say concerning uh, Deacon Walton. Uh, I like to say he was a friend of mine, and uh, I appreciate his friendship. He was a man that, uh, well, he brought joy to me every time I met him because he had what you may call a, a perpetual smile. He always smiled at you. I mean, if there were any barriers, he used that smile to bring it down. I, I especially enjoyed him. Whenever I would uh, walk up on him in the restaurant, because I never left there without him paying for my breakfast. <laughs> Every time I saw him, he always tell me, said, "Bro, we got to go out and have a hot cup." <laughs> He's just a wonderful man. I enjoyed knowing him. I, uh, I enjoyed the times that when we were building this church. Uh, they would send us out to pick up materials uh, from time to time. I would ride with him. And we'd go all the way out to Richtown, Ohio, to pick up materials. And I enjoyed that so much, just being in his company. He was a fine man, and he'll be certainly missed by everyone who knew him. We're praying for the family that God would bless you tremendously. And today I give honor to God and to this very fine pastor, Pastor Paul A. Logan, to our fine bishop, Bishop Emmanuel, and his great family, the Walton family. 
I like to say that Brother Wall was a good man. He knew how to uplift you when you was down. When I lost my wife, and I would sit around the house and sad and lonely, Brother Walt would come around and encourage me. And those are the things I cannot forget. It's good to be encouraged when you're going through. Because we all got to go through one day. Sooner or later, we got to meet our maker. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I will say to the family on today, if you're not ready, prepare yourself. Because Jesus Christ is soon to return. We don't know the day nor the hour. The Bible tells us when he's coming. But he said, be what? Be ready. Amen. Some of us may think we're ready, but we may fall short. Is that right? Amen. I will say to you today, be strong. Be encouraged. Yeah. It hasn't really hit you yet, but it will come to you later on. In that time, I want you to be strong. Is that all right? Amen. Be strong and trust in God. And God will give you strength to go through. You can't always depend on man, but I guarantee you, you depend on God. Amen. God bless you.